What's up guys, Scott here from Uncle Scott's Kitchen. I'm gonna show you how to take a carbon steel skillet that looks like this in dire need of some touch-up seasoning and turn it into a work of art like this. Let's get started. So here I am starting with a Debouille Mineral B 14 inch carbon steel skillet. This thing is humongous. Now this is a fantastic carbon steel skillet. The challenge with this guy though is that it is so big that to season it on my stovetop gas burner, I'm really having to move the pan around and hold it and tilt it to get a halfway decent seasoning on it. Now, after I seasoned the pan, I cooked some bacon and the bacon was non-stick. But for whatever reason, when a carbon steel pan is relatively new and you've got a thin layer of seasoning on it, bacon tends to pull some of that seasoning off and you can actually tell where the strips of bacon were lying in the pan. So what I did was move out to the deck and got out the old Garcima paella burner, which you've seen in some of my paella videos. And we're gonna try and season this guy on that paella burner. What I'm doing here is just getting some oil in the pan, wiping it all around, wiping that pan until it looks dry. Now this regular series Mineral B has a coated handle and a stainless steel helper handle. These do not need to be seasoned, but I am wiping some of the oil on the bottom of the pan. And I put this on the burner and let it come up to smoking. I'm starting to see just a little bit of darkening in here with this first round. What I'm doing is letting that oil smoke and cure and harden in and darken in a little bit. Then I am dabbing some oil, just a few drops of oil on successive wads of paper towels and wiping on very thin layers and letting them smoke and cure and harden in and darken in. And I'm repeating that process. Now, normally I am a proponent of just doing this one time, season once and just start cooking. Uh, we've shown over and over and over that you get fantastic cooking performance, nonstick food, with just one round of seasoning, it's quick and easy. So A, this is not necessary, and B, look at how this pan is smoking. I do not encourage you to do this in your kitchen in any type of enclosed space where you're gonna be standing at a stove and breathing in this smoke for an extended period of time. Probably very unhealthy, but outside on a breezy day, if you have the time, this is a fun thing to do. So I stood here and wiped on oil and let it smoke for about 30 minutes. And I didn't keep exact count, but probably 12 to 15 layers of seasoning. But at the end, we went from this to this. And I'm going to put this safely in the work of art pan category. Almost all of my carbon steel I put in the working pan category where I do not do this. I don't stand there and just season over and over and over. And there's a lot of reasons not to do that. But every now and then, it sure is nice to turn a carbon steel into a work of art. The only thing you got to be careful of here is that you don't make your pan so beautiful that you're hesitant to cook in it for fear of messing up this gorgeous seasoning. All right, if you found the video enjoyable and helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. Look somewhere on the screen for other videos you'll enjoy as well. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time on Uncle Scott's Kitchen. <laughs>